Hello and welcome back to my channel for another video. If you are new here, hi, my name is Darlene. And I'm Matthew, her husband. And you probably clicked on this video because you are wondering what the heck is going on with these two. And we are here to tell you. Ready? Sure. We moved to... Austin, Texas. Yes, and I, okay. <laughs> First, I just want to say that this was not supposed to be like this big secret as it kind of has been. We'll kind of get it all into that. We did move to Austin. We actually moved yesterday. Today is October 1st. Yes. So we moved on the 30th. We were actually supposed to move October 20th, but something happened and we had to move sooner and it's okay because it ended up working out so much better for us. Like just everything fell into place. It was very rushed and I had actually planned to announce that we were moving Sunday. So it was like October 7th. I was actually planning to film this video at our old apartment with Matthew <laughs> and everything just happened so fast that we thankfully we were able to like pre-pack we got it all together but and whose idea was it to it was his he, I'm gonna let Matthew take this part over but we actually decided that we were going to move I guess like middle of August August, right? Yeah. Or the end of August. So I'm a truck driver and I was working for this one company as a contractor and uh, obviously we're working for another big company here in Austin, Texas. So me and a few of my uh, co-workers, they liked us so much that they wanted to hire us on. It was a great deal, a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. Of course, I you know, I had to talk to my wife about it because we're literally uprooting our whole life yeah. from San Antonio. Like all of our family, all of our friends are mm -hmm. there. Her personally, she's never lived never anywhere else. Never have left San Antonio. Yeah, and I've been living there for almost 11 years now mm -hmm. so it's definitely like my second mm -hmm. home so yeah so we talked about it prayed on it and yeah we decided to it's a great opportunity we should go for it yeah so originally we were planning to move like she said like towards mm -hmm. the end of october yeah. but the way things panned out and it honestly worked out i had to find out exactly when i was going to get hired on and things like that so we did that and then we were like okay well like let's just go to austin and see what place we can find you know just maybe yeah. take a saturday and mm -hmm. scout out a couple of apartments and honestly like the first one yeah, the first that one. we <laughs> came across that she had on the list i think we were going to see like four that yeah. day or something so the first one we came mm -hmm. was to this place was this one and we came Came in and I immediately loved it mm -hmm. you know and like, I so did I like yeah. everything about this apartment was just it yeah so like and for us both to like love something at the same time like so quickly is like pretty rare I walked of, in first and then I turned to you and like we just were like this yeah. is it like we just instantly knew yeah. when we were done I was cool I was like yeah, yeah we don't have to look anywhere else because like for me mm -hmm. it's not far from work yeah you know understand like I'm driving from San Antonio to Austin every day for work it's at least an hour, hour and a half, depending on traffic, every day, mm -hmm. you know, back and forth. Yeah. Um, so the fact that we're probably like, I want to say 20 minutes at the most away, like that's a huge yeah. difference. Like, so it's like, yeah. Yeah, because like I work overnight, I work 12 hours a day, sometimes more. And obviously I'll do overtime a lot too. So the fact that I have more time to be at home, be with my wife and things like that, help around the house, help with the dogs, that type of stuff, and just have a... Mm -hmm. you know social life with my wife is great i'm not gonna lie this whole move has been an adjustment for me and like really hard because obviously like matthew just mentioned i have never left san antonio i have always like explored that idea you know when i was younger like oh it'd be cool to like live somewhere even like in austin like for mm -hmm. a year or something but i just was never like oh like you know it was just kind of like a thought but mm -hmm. matthew has been like pretty much all over you've been to california to vegas Texas um, like you've been like he's mm -hmm. not that you're used to it, but you have lived other places I definitely have yeah. more of a ramblers mentality <laughs> no but anyways like this like I said we did it we definitely talked about it for yeah. a while it wasn't just like an overnight thing we talked about it for a mm -hmm. while prayed on it a lot and we just believe that this is where God's taken us so that's what we're doing yes. and honestly like we're very happy with our new place. I'm sure yes. she's going to give you a tour oh of it. Oh my gosh, Come it's like so beautiful. I've honestly never ever lived in a place this nice. It had mm. checked all my boxes. I told Matthew, I'm like, okay, I don't want to be too picky, but if I'm like uprooting my life, I want to be yeah. a little bit picky, you mm. know? Like I loved our last apartment and it was great. Obviously we loved it so much that we upgraded to a two bedroom and it was, it was great, but I'm not going to lie. Like it was just so dark in there. Probably little things here and then like, you know, management that kind of wasn't our favorite but we met some amazing friends there and they were so amazing they literally helped us move yeah they're they like the best people and i think i was obviously sad to leave like my friends and family but to have like such wonderful neighbors like it was so hard and even like when i told Matthew, i'm like we have to tell them like i was like i had put it off for a few days and i was like i just 
don't have it in me yeah. to tell them. And they lived like right above us. <laughs> I think they were one of the first people we told and yeah. we were planning to tell all, all of our family yes. and stuff But literally I think the week we were planning to tell our family like that things, was, that's when things changed like so my fast. job called me Pretty much in a nutshell like my job called me and was like yo We want you to get want you to come mm -hmm. on sooner and then there was also an issue with our other apartment Yeah, that we had to like switch so it honestly all like not to cut you off But it just all fell into place because he actually starts orientation tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, so. so it couldn't have just worked out better. It was like very rushed, but I think at this point we've kind of like learned that when things happen, we just have to like take that yeah, opportunity. Like, yeah, you have to take that leap of faith and just kind of, you know, like basically, like for us, like I'm not trying to get churchy with anybody out mm -hmm. there, but I mean, for us, we're like, we believe in God and things yes. like that. We're Christian people. So like we, you know, if, if God's moving you, you just have to be prepared and move with it, you know, and just go with it. Jump in yes, with both absolutely. hands and both feet. So and like I said, in the end, it all worked out. Believe me, like <laughs> I might not look it, but I'm one that like definitely is like, I stress out about things. And yeah. I'm like, I want things to be like, I need to know before my next step. Like I'm, I'm that type of person. Yes. So to kind of like let things go and be like, okay, like, like you know, things are gonna, yeah, like things are gonna work mm -hmm. out, like, you know, and it did. It all worked out, and it's great. Like it really is. Like we love the apartment, we love the area. I mean, it's Austin, Texas. I mean, come yeah. on, like as far as Texas goes, it's definitely one of the coolest cities. What? So it's one of the cool. No, oh no, it's one. No, I said I said one of. I'm not saying like it's the best. It's one of. I'm like, like walking off my charm bracelet. I'm like they just have to know I'm from look, like San Antonio. She, look, she's she's puro San Antonio. I am. That's fine. I am. I love San Antonio and like I just love the culture, the city. Like I grew up there. Like if you were born and raised in San Antonio, then you just know what I'm talking about. So I'm just like for Fiesta. Oh, I'm going. I'm gonna have to get a hotel or something. Like I'm gonna be there for Fiesta. I'm literally going in like two weeks to see yeah, my friends. Yeah, like no, San Antonio. It's great. I love yeah. it. When all this first came about, like if it was really my choice, I would have been like, no, like yeah. I love San Antonio too much. Since I've been working here for the past year and we've been coming mm -hmm. to visit and check things out and whatever, like it is, it's definitely grown on me. I know she's gonna need some time because I've been coming here a lot more than her. Yeah. Obviously for work, you know, it's it's just gonna be a big blessing, and we'll just see where things go. Like we might live here forever or it might just be a you know a chapter in our yeah. book that's just what it is but we're just like you know we don't have any like obligations like we don't have kids yet we're able to do this and i just like you know i don't know like when we'll have this kind of opportunity to like pick up and go mm -hmm. again i think just more for us personally the job opportunity like it yes. is it's just a good job opportunity it is a really great and, opportunity you know and we can just see where this takes us and see where it goes so we're here in austin yes so we're here and so excited and like matthew just i just want to touch on it just briefly like i am so like not nervous but i'm just so scared like to leave san antonio and i told matthew i'm like i feel like <laughs> we already left <laughs> like, well yeah we were gone we're in austin i mean we still have our old apartment for a month i'm somebody who actually loves change like it's weird like i love change but it scares me and I know everyone's gonna say it's just an hour and a half away and if you're not familiar, San Antonio like without traffic is about an hour, with traffic about an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes because Austin traffic I will say we experienced it a little bit today. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. We experienced it a little bit today and we were like, ah. even yesterday we had to go like a different route to turn in the U-Haul. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, these drivers are nuts here. No. And I also just want to say, if you're a friend or family of ours and you don't know, and this is like completely new to you, please don't be offended. This happened so, so fast. Please Mike. do not think you weren't special enough to know if you're like in our close circle and we still didn't tell you. Like, this happened <laughs> so yeah. fast. And it was like, my job wanted me to be here quicker. Yeah. Like, there was all these All, all these, these different things, things, and we just had to take the, the yeah. plunge. And like I said, within in between, like, I couldn't stop work. Like, I had mm -hmm. to keep working because I was already scheduled. So yeah. it was just, it was a lot. It was a lot. But we're here, and we're happy to be here. Me, a little nervous because I'm going to miss home. I already know, like, this, like, first week, I'm probably, like, even with Matthew telling him, like, we are talking about it yesterday, and he's like, so has it hit you yet? And I was like, honestly, like, no. And I feel like it feels like it's, too good to be true. It's going to hit her probably like when he maybe leaves. tomorrow. <laughs> I would say like Monday or Tuesday when yeah, I go to work. When he goes to work. And then she's going to be here by herself like, oh, man. Uh, like, I'm really so, like, here in a new in city yeah. by myself. So. Yeah. But I'm going to end this video here. I'll see you guys in the next one. And the next video will be us apartment hunting it's already edited and ready see it's like a mini production you've been doing this for a while i have i have i already have it ready to go 
And like your videos are what, like 20, 30 minutes mm -hmm. long? Like, see yeah. y'all? Like, it's a lot of work for yes. one person. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!